Alright, what's up everybody? We are back with episode 18 of One Piece, which is called You're the Weird Creature, Gaimon and His Strange Friends. Yeah, I don't think we're actually going to be arriving at the Baratie anytime soon. Uh, I looked it up already, I will say, and I, I, the first time that I noticed Baratie being mentioned was I think about episode 21 or something like that. I checked before even watching the previous episode, but um, we might have a couple of like weird in-between episodes here that are not going to be, uh, yeah containing anything that I've seen in the live action series perhaps right which uh, will make this a very interesting watch for me no doubt of course we have officially set sail with Usopp on our team and um ah dude I absolutely loved how they actually ended off the the yeah you know the previous arc the arc with the uh, Kaya and Kuro of course interesting once again how there's just all these differences compared to live action series you know um yeah with with Kuro I already basically realize that like okay if we're gonna make him get away right what about his pirate crew and so it's actually all of them that ended up leaving the island but it's interesting because we didn't fully deal with the threat either or something right i mean did kuro actually die or not wasn't really clear to me and if that's you know i i don't i don't know how you can honestly consciously just leave kaya and all the villagers there knowing that Kuro and the pirates could still be eventually coming back or something. You get what I'm saying? So that that's what I find a little, a little strange about it, I guess. Um, yeah, with, with with Django also, you know, did he get killed? I think he did. I think he did, right? But again, like, the, the anime is not entirely always making this all too clear. And it's funny, too, because there's the example of Mary, which I was even more surprised by. Mary actually made it out. Mary actually survived. His fucking stab, like his literal stabbing. I mean, we saw the scene and it was just as vicious as it was back in the live action series uh, when they showed it to us in the, in the anime a couple episodes back, of course, already. I think it was like one of the, yeah, the first or second episode straight away or something, right, of this particular arc. But um, he actually survived. And so he gives us the ship and his ship is called the Going Mary because of him being the one that owned it previously, I guess, right? <laughs> and so it actually, like, in that way, makes more sense to me than, oh, just calling this ship after Mary, who Luffy did not even really interact with all that much, I think, whatsoever in the uh, live-action series. But yeah, still, again, it's fascinating to see the small differences. I love, by the way, how the kids are essentially um, uh, carrying forward Usopp's legacy by, uh, yeah, just shouting in the village that pirates are coming the whole time now, right? Uh, we also got that nice little flashback regarding Usopp and his mom and that he was basically doing it to try and give her hope uh, because, yeah, when the dad would come back, he'd have this, like, legendary medicine for her and she'd be, you know, willing to, I guess, fight a little harder to stay alive, he figured. And, ah, man, it was all just, yeah, so well done once again. And it's, I mean, it's interesting how all these scenes just, just play out, um, out of order compared to the live-action series, of course. I can't help, guys, by the way, but you, you, you're, you'll understand, right? That I'm going to constantly compare this to the live-action series because I, I already know how the story plays out and uh, naturally I'm going to be constantly, yeah, wanting to draw those comparisons. While, of course, wanting to take the anime also just kind of uh, for what it is, if that makes sense. But, um, but yeah, it was just, not nah, honestly, it was super well done. So I'm looking forward to seeing... Yeah, exactly what's going to happen in this next episode. I'm wondering, and I talked about this during the last episode, but I do wonder whether we're going to eventually see characters like Kaya back. She mentioned wanting to become a doctor, which I think she brought that up as well in the live action series. But yeah, will that mean that eventually we're going to need her to provide medical aid or something, you know, maybe? I mean, we could use her probably on a ship at some point too, right? Yeah, I don't know. But um, um, again, like whether that's in the cards or not is hard to say at this point. Especially uh, being, uh, yeah, close to about 20 episodes into a show that's a thousand episodes. So we're getting close to the 2% mark. 2% <laughs> of the loading bar. But <laughs> yeah, anyway, guys, let's dive into this new episode. Of course, if you enjoy my reactions to One Piece, you will be able to get early access to the next 24 episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. So go and check it out. Full length reactions are, of course, going to be up there too if you want to see me react to the episodes in their entirety and you can also sign up as a free member and watch at least the next four episodes right now but with that being said let's dive into this new episode oh yeah who's up at the front our new not so captain oh 
<laughs> uh, already pretending himself to be a great, uh, a great pirate warrior, huh? <laughs> Daryl just chilling over here. Luffy working on the flag, yeah. We got no, uh, no time for your make-believe. Oh, yeah. It does look a little silly. I feel like it looks even sillier here, but... A symbol of fear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fear of how bad this looks. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, this is really similar, actually. Love it. Oh, so we're we're just gonna finalize the version here straight away, huh? Didn't they like? I feel like I could be misremembering, but I feel like they actually waited with giving us the final flag until wasn't it the end of the season or something? I feel like that's what they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's kind of how we ended. Yeah, this looks pretty cool though. Not as cheap and horrible looking. Deformed. Yeah, who is Gaimon though? The strange creature? Oh, fuck. That's a rain cloud if I've ever seen one. I feel like it's something fishy is up with it though. Oh. Some island? I mean, it's not gonna be Baratia already. The legendary treasure island? Uh, how is that not what a One Piece should be? Incurs a god's wrath. Damn, we're gonna get our most dangerous enemy yet. God himself. Yeah, he's definitely punishing us right now with this rain. Oh, man, but see, and that's... Like, I've never really... I don't think I've even really been on... Well, I mean, I've, I've been on some, like, smaller ships or whatever, right? But, like, I've never I've never done a, done a, an actual cruise or something on the ocean, right? But it's... I don't know. I feel like it's such a scary thought, honestly, man. It's like... If something happens, you're fucked, right? You're out on fucking open ocean. Yeah, at that point, you know, you're just basically, you're there for the sharks to eat. Okay. Man, this is the island from uh, Maiden in Abyss. <laughs> it better not be. Oh god, no, that's a flesh-eating plant. Oh, I was so honestly expecting Usopp to somehow want to touch it and get his hand nearly bitten off. And none of them found it? Ah. Kind of Indiana Jones style. <laughs> Mangle turned into an Oscar. Stretched out and strangled him like snakes. Oh, wow. Uh, hopefully. Oh, God. Nah, what's hiding in the bushes here? I'm worried already. <laughs> Zoro is completely fearless, man. Somebody just salivated on him. Uh, look above you, though. How did that get there? Oh, is this a dog again? That's not Luffy. Oh. Yo, what are these weird deformed animals? Yeah, it's like a chicken dog and it's like a panda bat or whatever. Okay. Protective God. Nah, this guy's just trying to scare us. 
It's not God, it's not God. He's just using some kind of way to elevate his voice. Meet your doom. I mean, I'm going to assume this is already what made the people flee previously. Hey, you are weird. I'm not scared of you, to be fair. I'm more scared of these animals. Yeah, look at this. Yeah. No, it's a lion pig. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Luffy won't have much to fear. He's basically God himself. Yeah, no. He's just talking through some kind of speaker thing. Receive my divine punishment. This is not divine punishments, because... Oh, wow. Sora's still sleeping. Nah, these are physical weapons you're using, so... Your physical presence. Oh, he's about to get that. Okay. I thought we were sending it right back at him. <laughs> Says God. Who the fuck is this dude, though? Ah! Bumping into all kinds of shit. He's got a chest with him? Yo, my man is pretty small, isn't he? He still has to explain the animals over here, though. What the fuck is this? I don't know if we can, if we can call this a person, though. Nah, dude. Man literally looks like one of these... What the fuck are they called again? You know, the creatures that Mario jumps on. Goompas or something like that? <laughs> he literally looks like that. His head shape is so similar. Oh, fuck. Yeah, now we're actually doing it Mario style. <laughs> this guy. Uh, popular. Popular with the animals. Uh, <laughs> Why do I feel like his pirate crew just put him in this chest? Yeah, exactly. And left him here. They found a treasure, put him in there, abandoned him with all the crazy animals over here. Still, those animals, you need to explain, I feel. Ah, uh, Zoro just woke up. Uh, is he gonna be scared now once he sees the guy? <laughs> I was gonna say. No, the sooner. Yes. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Luffy? Oh. Trying to pull the. Well, Zoro was trying to pull the bush out of him. Has he heard of that at least? Everybody has, right? Oh, yeah. Dude, I wonder when we get to the Grand Line. That place is hell or a graveyard? I once saw pirates who'd managed to escape from the Grand Line? Holy fuck. Who had died and lost their souls. Hey, that seems like a curse or some... Yeah. Something like that. Like with twins? Yeah, what are you saying? Oh, achieving your dream someday. Yeah, man has given up, I'm pretty sure. 
Just preferred being stuck over here. Yeah, that's probably what got you in here or something, right? That was your backstory, man. My fellow pirates and I landed on this island. Yeah, they left him here, I think. <laughs> they found the chest that he's in. That's what I'm saying. Oh, that's him! So, okay, so the bush on top of him really was just his hair that grew all out, huh? Oh. Oh. No, did he fall off into the chest somehow? I feel like that's what happened. What did he find up here? Okay. More chests. Nah, he, he fell. He fell. Yep. Yep. Literally like that. And nobody was here to fucking retrieve him. Ooh, that's kind of... That's messed up, though. Wow, just like that. Holy shit. Yo, that's a devastating-ass backstory, not gonna lie. Yeah, how do you want to enjoy it from here, though? Exactly. The... Really? No, Nami is not... Nami is not... Yeah. Exactly. She's not gonna keep to her words, obviously. Nah, nah, nah. Don't pretend like you got, like, certain morals or ethics or whatever now. Yo. My man literally has one of these, like, afro haircuts, right? <laughs> oh, like he should be standing in a disco. Wow, yeah, that's one way to get up. You don't have to worry about, like, the rock breaking off. Is it gone? Don't tell me the chests are somehow not here anymore. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. No, he's gonna toss it right on top of you now. What? No. Promise is a promise, you know? I have no idea what's about to happen here. Well, it doesn't matter now anymore. He's just accepting that he's going to be deceived. A great guy. I don't get what the fuck is going on. Slight inkling that might be the case. They're empty. Oh. Oh. Damn. Yeah. I mean, but you don't know whether it got stolen already. You know, when you originally found it, or if it did get stolen in the in the meantime. Under your nose. Yeah, exactly. You still got a whole life ahead of you. This guy's not coming with us, is he? Huh. I mean, I didn't even really want to consider it, you know? Live action series definitely setting some expectations for me that I probably shouldn't even, you know, have. Maybe this crew is going to get bigger already here early on from what I figured. Oh, okay, no, he's not coming with. This is his home now. The animals. He's even staying in there. Yeah. 
I don't doubt that. You're still gonna have to explain to me what kind of fucking curse made him like this, though. <laughs> yeah, I get that. <laughs> oh man, neat old guy. <laughs> I was gonna say. A literal Goomba. Yeah, I think they were called Goombas. Wow, what a interesting little side adventure this one was. Strive for your dream for me. Mm. And then buy the world. Fantastic, dude. That was great, man. To be continued. All right, guys. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and of course you can get early access to the next 24 episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. You can also sign up as a free member and watch at least the next four episodes already right now. So I'll see you there.